Welcome back to another video. Today we have my good friend Garrett here. And Garrett actually made $40,000 in profit, not just revenue, selling on Amazon in his first six months. So Garrett, how you doing today? I'm good, I'm good, thanks for having me. Yeah, we're excited, just got the new warehouse opened. Uh, what else besides just selling your own products on Amazon and fulfilling stuff through here are you gonna be doing with the space? Um, so we're actually opening up a Amazon FBA prep center. So essentially how that works is sellers from all across the country uh, purchase their inventory and have it shipped right to here, um, which we are in Delaware, which is a no sales tax state, which is essentially just increasing your margins. And then we um, receive the inventory, prep it, and send it off to Amazon already listed and ready to roll for you guys. Yep, so he's got a lot going on. And like I said, 40,000 in profit your first six months. So how did you find selling on Amazon? Believe it or not, I actually found it through Instagram, right? Um, getting exposed to other influencers, influencers and other sellers um, who essentially just documented their journey, posted about what they were learning, um, and that got me interested. Um, and now here we are. Yeah, and because you still have your corporate job, you're still doing this, like owning the business on the side pretty much essentially right now. What types of stuff were you selling at the start? Was it bumpy getting into it? Was it smooth? And really just how'd you get where you are now? Um, so in the beginning I started with used books, which I would advise everyone to start with used books for a couple different reasons. The first one being, it just allows you to get a sense of the process from purchasing inventory to selling it the whole cycle um, at a low cost, right? Super, book super cheap. Yeah, books you guys can get for like a dollar, two dollars, even free sometimes. At thrift stores, library sales, and you've said this, I think this is a direct quote from you, it lets you make inexpensive mistakes while you're learning the process of Amazon and then you'll actually be ready to invest into serious product, whether it be toys, shoes, apparel, all that other kind of stuff that we sell now. That's right. Definitely. And so, what was the biggest mistake you ran into or just like roadblock when you were getting started with everything that really like maybe stumbled you at the start or just what was the biggest challenge you ran into? Um, probably just not doing my due diligence um, researching products, right? Mm -hmm. So getting excited, obviously um, thinking we're going to make a whole lot of money purchasing inventory, but not looking at the Keepa, not looking, you know, doing all of the all of the product research that goes into a successful inventory purchasing decision, not doing that from the start. Yeah, that was my next question is what tools are you using? Because when people get into stuff, they're normally overwhelmed by all the different options of one, business models, but two, just tools to help you out selling on Amazon. So what tool is you using in your business? Um, couple main ones. Uh, we have an inventory management software, um, which essentially allows us to list products at ease, um, provides a whole bunch of analytics and reporting, um, which just make the business that much more profitable. Um, we have a repricer that we use, which essentially um, benefits, us, benefits us in terms of going after that buy box, um, which I'm sure Miles has talked about quite a bit on his, yeah. in his content. And then we also, obviously Keepa, which I already mentioned, which is on the product research um, perspective. Um, and I think that's right about it, the yeah, major so, ones. Yeah, so, yep, inventory lab, repricing, as well as Keepa. And maybe by the time you're watching this video, I'll have some other channels going, got their videos going in depth into those softwares and so one other question this is a big one a lot of beginners watching this are going to wonder how much money did you go ahead and start with and i know the answer to this question i know it's a, a lot higher than some people started with but it really shows you that you were committed to actually making this a business right so i invested um, four thousand dollars of my own money into the business um, but that's all relative right um, you can add, invest as much or as little as you want but it's all um, kind of pertinent to your situation. It doesn't necessarily, you won't succeed with a smaller amount. It just might take you a little longer. Yeah, and I actually even recommend if someone comes to me and they say I have like $3,000, I would recommend starting with less and just start lower risk and figure out if it's something you actually like and want to do. Um, so that's definitely an important thing. And one final question here for us, what's the biggest tip you would give to any viewers watching this or just people out there who are interested in starting their own Amazon business but haven't taken the jump and actually done it? Just look around your house, see what you have that you not, not, might not necessarily use anymore. Go to some thrift stores and just start scanning items, right? You won't know what you don't know until you start to just do things and figure it out, right? I like that, definitely. And where can the people find you on social media? Yeah, so pretty much the whole journey is documented through Instagram, um, all out Amazon FBA on Instagram. That's where 
all of the content is curated right now. Yep, and he will be linked below. This was both of our first in-person interviews, so leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and let us know your thoughts, any questions you have for us, and go follow Garrett uh, in his link down below.